Hey guys, Mike here from Lunch Money Comics, and I have for you, finally, my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Every time I hit one of these milestones and do a giveaway, I say the same thing, guys. I am blown away and humbled and thankful for every single person who has supported my channel since the beginning. You know, when I started it, it was sort of just on a, a whim, right? I just wanted to talk about comic books, share a couple things with my son. I thought maybe 100 people might watch, let alone 1,000, 2,000. Here I am at 5,000, closing in on six. It blows my mind and it has changed my life uh, significantly. And that change isn't because I just have a better comic book collection now. The best part about having my YouTube channel is absolutely the people. I mean, the conversations I've had with people online, the people I've met in person. Um, you know, growing up, I only had one other friend that collected comic books and that's kind of why I want to start my channel. I don't want to talk about my passion with. And, um, I tell you guys, 99.9% .9 of the people I have met in this comic book collecting community are wonderful. I mean, yes, comic books are the common thread, um, and that's how you start talking, but immediately it, you have a rapport with this person, and I feel like these are people I've known my entire life, you know, like lifelong friends, and truth be told, I've met people in the last six months that I think will be lifelong friends with me. I mean, honestly, and that's been the best part of this channel, engaging with all of you, engaging with uh, the comic book collecting community, and also the comic book YouTube community, which I had no idea um, would be this welcoming. I mean, they all look out for each other. We promote each other. Again, I've made so many friends out there as well. So again, from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much. You know, even beyond just continuing to like make content for you guys, if that's what people want, I feel like every once in a while I need to give something more back. And that's why I have some comic books to give back to you guys. And guess what? It's not gonna be one person who wins. I actually am gonna have three winners this time uh, because I wanna give as many comic books out there as I possibly can. And also because uh, I have some pretty awesome comic books and they're too good for any one person. And after I tell you about the giveaway, I have more opportunities for those of you who are up here in the Northeastern United States to maybe win some more comic books for free. So definitely stay tuned till after I talk about the giveaway. Before I show you guys the comic books, if you like this stuff and you want to continue to support the channel, do me a huge favor, go down, hit that like button, always leave me a comment, guys. I love reading every single one of them. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already. Help me get to 6,000 subscribers, and I don't even know how high we're going to go. And of course, follow me on Instagram under Lunch Money Comics IG. If you do, guys, DM me. I respond to everybody. I absolutely love it. You guys are my new best friends in comic book collecting, and I cannot wait to hear from you. So I have five comic books that I'm going to be giving away, five books, 5,000 subscribers, although there's a good chance I'm gonna throw in a sixth comic book for reasons you'll see in a few minutes. Um, but what's great about all these books is they were all donated from people who are friends of me and of the channel. I mentioned all these wonderful people I've met. Well, several of them donated books to me completely unprompted. They knew this milestone was coming up and they wanted to be a part of it and give back to the community. Crazy, right? Uh, so I have five awesome comic books. I'll also mention, you know, who uh, gave them to me. And hopefully, you know, in any way possible, if you guys can support these people for their generosity, I'd be really appreciative of that as well. So the first book I want to show you guys is one of my personal favorites. I love this book. I love this character. I've talked about it on my channel in the past, and I'm very happy to give it out to one of you. This is Longshot Number no. 1. It's from 1985, written by Ann Nocenti, art by the awesome Arthur Adams, and this is the first issue in a six-part story about the character of Longshot you see right here. So Longshot's from an alternate dimension run by the villainous Mojo. It's actually called the Mojoverse. And he's sort of like this horrible, like, corporate TV dictator who makes these brutal, like, gladiator-style television shows to entertain their denizens. And people like Longshot are genetically engineered to participate in these horrible games. Um, in this six-part story, basically, you know, he's lost his memory. He escapes the Mojoverse into the main uh, Marvel Universe. Um, and it's a really cool, sort of standalone, awesome story. The art by Arthur Adams is absolutely fantastic and whimsical. And, uh, of course, this book here is the first appearance of the character of Longshot. He has the powers of luck, good luck and bad luck. He also has an awesome uh, 80s mullet going on right there. And this is also the first appearance of the villainess Spiral. I love the series. I love this character. I'm an X-Men fan. He was a longtime X-Men character in the 80s, and I love the first appearances of X-Men characters. Now, I got this book from Holy Moly's Comics in Northampton, Massachusetts. It's a great store owned by a wonderful couple, Tony and Corinne. They recently opened a new store in Northampton that's bigger. They're starting to have uh, more special events, more guest artists, local comic book creators go to the store. I'm really excited to see what the future holds for this store and how they build it out and the future events they have. Uh, and I'm very happy to sort of donate this book on behalf of them to one of you. Awesome. 
So this next book is also from a local comic book store, this time His and Her Comics in Greenfield, Massachusetts. I've talked about this store a million times on my channel in the past, guys. It's fantastic. They have excellent wall books, some of the best in all of New England, and there is a great owner there named Nishan who always looks out for me and I consider a personal friend. So I was up in his store looking at these amazing wall books, and I sort of offhandedly mentioned I was looking for a book to buy for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. He wasted no time. He walked to the back issues, pulled out one of his personal favorites, and he gave it to me. He said, take this for free to give away on your channel. What a generous guy. What book did he give me? He gave me this. So this is Red Sonia number one from 1977, written by Roy Thomas, art by Frank Thorne. And this is the first issue of Red Sonia's first ongoing series. Red Sonia originally was a Conan character. She premiered in Conan number 23 in the early 70s. Um, and she's also based off a of Robert E. Howard character, just like Conan. Uh, but she went on to be uh, very popular in her own right, although this is her first issue by herself. Uh, she ended up having several series after this. Uh, people like her. They like her look, um, and I don't blame them. And it's a very cool character, very cool 70s sword and sorcery aesthetic. And I'm very, very happy to give this to one of you on behalf of His and Her Comics in Greenfield, Massachusetts. So this next comic book I got from a friend, and I actually met him through His and Her Comics. As a matter of fact, he's one of three guys I met through the store. They're all comic book collectors and dealers, but they're also friends with each other, and I've become pretty good friends with them as well. Their names are Matt, Larry, and Josh, and I've spoken about all three of them on my channel in the past, and I'm definitely going to be talking about all three of them before the end of this video. You'll want to stay tuned to hear why. But one of these guys, Josh, donated this book to me, and I tell you guys, he's one of the nicest, most generous people I've ever met. Let me just give you a couple of examples. So back when I first met him, I barely knew the guy. He was watching my channel and he saw a video where I was talking about the Spectre and how I was really into him and I wanted to read the John Ostrander run of Spectre from the 90s. So the very next time I saw him, again, I barely know the guy, he goes into the back of his car and pulls out a huge stack of Spectre comic books, including that John Ostrander run. He said, hey, I got these for you, enjoy them. And he just gave them to me. I was blown away and I've been reading them and they are fantastic. But even very recently at Free Comic Book Day, I was up at his and her comics and the owner handed me a $20 bill. I was like, what is this for? He said, Josh left this for your kids so they could buy something nice. That's the kind of guy he is. So uh, last month I was at a flea market. I bumped into Josh there. He has fantastic books. We started talking and he said, hey, I have something for you. And he handed me this book. And uh, he said, I want you to give this away on your channel. And I was like, are you sure? That's a pretty good book. He said, I'm positive. And I was trying to think of a good time to give it away. I figured the 5,000 subscriber giveaway would be a perfect time. What book am I talking about? Well, it is this. So this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number five. It's from 1985. Art and story, of course, by Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman. And this is the fifth appearance of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You see them right there on the cover. They all have the same color masks back then. So you can only differentiate them between their weapons. Um, yeah, and it's a great book. It's in really high grade. I think he had like $50 on it. And Josh always has awesome TMNT books. As a matter of fact, when I did the video on that flea market where I talked about this, I showed all the other books he had in his long boxes and he has tons of early Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And people were down in the comments drooling over them saying how much they want to have them. So I got really excited to include this in the 5K giveaway. I know someone out there is really gonna appreciate it. And like I said, guys, stay tuned to the end of the video because those guys I mentioned, Matt, Larry, and Josh, Let's just say this isn't the last book that they're going to be giving away for free to some of my viewers. You're going to want to stay tuned to hear about that opportunity at an upcoming comic book show. So this next book I also got from a local comic book store, this time Nick's Comic Strip in my hometown of Danvers, Massachusetts. Now I did a whole video on Nick's Comic Strip very recently where I actually interviewed the owner Nick. And I wanted to do this because not only is the store beautiful and has great comic books and great vintage toys, but because I found out about how much they give back to the community and to charity. And I mentioned this place and the charity that they were sponsoring this year, which is the Lust Garten Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research. And through them, we were able to raise hundreds of dollars for this awesome charity. Um, I think it's a fantastic store, a fantastic business model. I love the owner, great guys all around that work there. So when I bumped into Nick at Wicked Con in Boston, Massachusetts recently, I mentioned the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. He did not hesitate to donate a book to the cause and it's a pretty good one. What book am I talking about? It is this, Shazam number one from 1973. And of course, this is the first appearance of the character Shazam, AKA Captain Marvel, AKA Billy Batson in DC Comics. So originally he's a golden age character published by Fawcett Comics, incredibly popular during the forties 
until the early 50s when they had to stop publishing him, mostly because of lawsuits by DC, because of how similar he was to Superman. Uh, and he wasn't published for like 20 years until DC acquired the license to Captain Marvel and started publishing uh, new Captain Marvel stories in the early 70s. However, very famously, they couldn't use the name Captain Marvel. Marvel Comics had taken it, so they renamed the comic series Shazam. They also brought over all the other characters associated with him, like the whole Marvel family and Black Adam. So this is a very important comic book for DC. I had to include at least one DC comic in the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, this is a beautiful condition book, guys. I mean, it's a white cover. You know, these tend to show dirt and grime very easily, but this one's beautiful, nice and bright, uh, colors all over it, sharp corners, and I'm very happy to give this away to one of you DC fans uh, on behalf of Nick's comic strip. So this last book was also donated to me by a very dear friend. It's Jeff from Comic Spa. I mention Comic Spa on my channel all the time, guys, because Jeff is, quite frankly, the best comic book presser and cleaner I've ever known. His work is exemplary. I've done several videos profiling all the work he's done for me, but also other YouTubers have used him and talked about them on his channel. He has a stellar reputation. He is the best of the best. I always have a link down to his contact information in my description if you ever want the absolute best professional working on your books. But most importantly to me, guys, I mentioned in the beginning of the video all of these people I've met, some of them near and dear friends to me now, lifelong friends. Jeff is one of them. Jeff is a great guy that, beyond comic books, we just have a great time together. We go to comic book shows together. He's actually appeared in a couple of my videos in the flesh. A wonderful human being. I'm very happy to know him. And this is how generous he is. So he came over to my house one time to give me some books, you know, that he had worked on. And I was giving him some more. But he brought over a short box. And he said, hey, I don't care about these books anymore. Go through, pick out the ones you want, give some to your kids. Whatever you want to do with them, that's fine. And I went through this box. And half of these books were so good. I'm like, Jeff, I can't take these books. I'll help you sell the books if you want, but I can't, I can't possibly take all these. And he said, no, take whatever you want and uh, pick one out for the next giveaway. Again, some of these books are too nice for a 5,000 subscriber giveaway, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but this one I saw, I thought this was perfect for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway because people absolutely love this book. What book am I talking about? It's this, The Incredible Hulk number 340 from 1988, famous cover by Todd McFarlane and Bob Wyacek showing Wolverine fighting The Incredible Hulk. People love this cover. They love this book. It's easy to see why. It is very, very cool. Now, um, truthfully, it's not in the best shape. There are a lot of color breaks on this. There's a lot of spine ticks on it. Jeff did his best to press it out, but there's just issues with this book that even he can't fix. However, it still presents great, and a lot of people would love to just have this book in their collection. And honestly, guys, me holding it off, you can't tell that it has any damage to it. It's a great looking book in any condition. And I'm very happy, very happy to include it in this giveaway. So again, Jeff is a dear friend of mine. And any chance I have to sing his praises, I'm always happy to do so. Jeff, thank you so much for donating this awesome book to the channel. I'm sure whoever wins it is going to be very happy and proud to add this awesome Hulk 340 to their collection. So here are all the awesome comic books I have for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. And honestly, guys, I kind of struggle with how to do this giveaway. I mean, I kind of feel like these comic books are too good to give to one person. And I always feel bad that there's only one winner. Um, I wish I could give a comic book to every single one of you. So um, I was talking to some of my friends, uh, other YouTubers like Brandon from Mon Comics, as well as JP and Rohan at the Absolute Game of Nerds podcast. Uh, and they were giving me some advice. And what we came up with is we should have three winners. And uh, how I'm going to break that up is like this. The first winner is going to win uh, the big two, I guess. Uh, the Incredible Hulk 340 and the Shazam number one. Uh, second prize is going to get the TMNT in the Red Sonia. And third prize, I was just going to give them this long shot book, which I absolutely love. But I felt like it was definitely not as good as the other two. Um, I needed to uh, kick it up a notch. So... I'm going to add a personal book from my collection. It is this. This is the Silver Surfer one-shot from 1982. I've talked about this book in the past. I think this is the perfect comic book. It hits the trifecta, right? What you want in a comic book is a great story, great art, and historical significance. This has all three. It's written by John Byrne and Stan Lee, comic book royalty. Art by John Byrne, fantastic cover. And the significance is that this is a Silver Surfer one-shot, and you could argue it's the First and only issue of The Silver Surfer, Volume 2. It is a retelling of his origin story. It has the Fantastic Four. It has Galactus. It is the perfect comic book. I've always said this is a great book to start a collection. So I'm going to say this. When I give this out to whoever wins the third prize, um, 
If you are a veteran collector, I'm going to ask you maybe give this away to someone who is just starting a collection, whether it's a kid or an adult, someone who's just getting into the hobby. I think this is a great book to give to them. Uh, I would ask you for that. So if you want to win these awesome comic books, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and then go down to the comments and write anything. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'd love to know more about my viewers. Tell me what your favorite comic book is. Tell me where you're from, how you got into the hobby. Whatever it is, just write hashtag 5000 at the end. Uh, what that does is it tells me that you want me to send these books to your house. And then Saturday, May 27th, I'm going to use a random comment picker three times to pick three winners. The first comment that gets picked, the winner will have the be first place. Second one will be the second place. Third will be third place. And on that Saturday, I'm going to post a picture on YouTube. So uh, people have asked me in the past, how do I reveal the winner? That's how I do it. Make sure that you have your YouTube set, however you watch YouTube, whether it's on your TV or your phone, make sure you have it set to see posts. I will post a picture of me holding the comment books with the winning comments right there. So there's no mistake on who won. I'm also going to respond to each of the winning comments, asking you to uh, coordinate with me on Instagram under lunchmoneycomics IG or via email lunchmoneycomics at gmail.com. That's the only two ways I will communicate with you guys. Watch out for scammers. I say it all the time. It's the worst part about having a YouTube channel. You guys should know all the red flags by now. Um, I do not use Telegram. I do not use emojis. Um, and I don't spam every single person down in the comments when that happens. Um, and when in doubt, guys, just hit me up on Instagram and I'll be able to tell you if it's me or not. You'll know. Trust me, you'll know. So that's it for the 5K giveaway, guys. I'm pretty excited to give these out to not just one winner, but three. I can't wait to see who wins and good luck to every single one of you. If you guys want to say thanks to these very generous people who have supported my channel, it's really easy to do so. Uh, the first one, Jeff from Comic Spa. Comic Spa's email is always down in my description. Um, if you contact him and you send him your books, not only are you supporting his business, but you're going to get some fantastic books back. So definitely hit him up. Uh, Nick's Comic Strip in Danvers, Massachusetts. Absolutely worth visiting. Also, check out their Instagram page. They have a fantastic Instagram account. They put great videos up, and you can also support their charities through that. Um, I'll talk about Josh in a second. Um, if you want to support his and her comics, just head on over to their store in Greenfield, Massachusetts. More on them in a second as well. Um, and if you want to support Holy Moly Comics in Northampton, Massachusetts, uh, check out their new store. You will absolutely be happy to do so. And I will be posting more of their uh, special events coming up soon on my channel. I'll let you guys know when I'm going to be there. And uh, let's talk real quickly uh, about the other thing I was alluding to, these situations coming up soon where you can get more free comic books. So coming up soon on uh, May 28th, that's next Sunday, is the Western Mass Comic Book Show. Um, it is sponsored by His and Her Comics in Greenfield, which is a stone's throw from where this is being held in a fantastic uh, performing arts center, historic building. And the um, coordinator of this show is named Kit Henry of Amazing Comics. I'll put information down in the description to him and to his show. He's a great guy. He has a great online comic book store as well. Um, they put on a fantastic show. I went last fall. It was absolutely awesome awesome. I couldn't believe the caliber of people they had there, not just sellers, but also guests. Um, and that's actually where I met these guys, Matt, Larry, and Josh. So definitely check out the show if you guys can, and you know, stop by His and Her Comics while you're there. You won't be disappointed. But let me talk real quickly about Matt, Larry, and Josh, because they came up with a really cool idea. And they didn't even ask me about this. They just told me they're doing it. They said that if you go to the Western Mass comic book show next Sunday, and you find them, if you go up to their tables and you mention Lunch Money Comics, they're going to be giving away free comic books. And I'll tell you what, guys, they show me some pictures of what they're giving away and they're awesome books, like books I would want to have in my collection. They're incredible. It's going to be first come, first serve. The earlier you get there, the better books you're going to get. How cool is that? So if you're looking for these guys, um, this show is on two floors, the ground floor and the fourth floor. Take the elevator up to the fourth floor. When you come off, they should be off to the left. Again, just mention Lunch Money Comics that you're a fan of the channel and they're going to give some free comic books away. I tell you guys, the people I've met through my channel are fantastic. I love these guys. I love all of you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see some of you at that Western Mass comic book show. Good luck to everybody who wants to get these books. In the meantime, I hope you guys keep finding comic books in strange and unusual places and through your favorite comic book YouTubers giveaways. Thank you all so much for watching and for subscribing and for supporting me. And I'll see you all next time.